All right, guys, this is going to be a back issue video. Stuff I've picked up over the last couple weeks since Hamilton Comic Con. Nothing super groundbreaking in here, but there are some uh, some bigger books, some X Men books. Uh, anyway. You're looking at, on the right, the Archangel Toy Biz figure. I see these Toy Biz Uncanny X-Men figures literally all over the place, and I've um, I've never, you know, gotten into buying them, but this one's in nice shape all around, so um, decided to grab it. And then on the left, you have uh, Action Comics number 595, which is the first appearance of Silver Banshee. I believe she has some later appearances in Action Comics as well which I'm going to uh, to look into getting, but cool stuff there. Yeah, I always look at those um, Uncanny X-Men Toy Biz figures, and um, I've never felt the need to get them, but, you know, I'm going to start. Okay, we have uh, Aquaman number 7. That is the first appearance of The Others. Good timing uh, for me picking this up with the uh, Aquaman movie news. We'll see if... Um, if they even make an appearance in an Aquaman movie, but who knows. New Mutants number 100, the purple first printing, first appearance of X-Force. And then uh, we have a couple Wolverine books. The X-23 Test 2 book that everybody's picking up, uh, which you can still find all over the place. And uh, Wolverine number 88, Deadpool cover that uh, I think is getting a little bit popular. But uh, cool stuff there. have a couple X-Factor books. I have some bigger X-Factor books in a second, but right now, um, I picked this up. This is number 26. I picked that up because it's the end of that Apocalypse storyline in X-Factor. And uh, I believe that this Apocalypse storyline would be the likely choice for a movie as opposed to Age of Apocalypse, but we'll see. And then number 71, which is the first appearance of the new team after Peter David's run starts. Uh, this is one of my favorite series of all time, and uh, I decided to start grabbing it in singles. I have the Omnibus. I have all of them here, uh, all the ones I picked up. This is Uncanny X-Force. That's number one. Number four is the money book in this little run, and I don't have that, but there's some amazing covers on these books. Uh, number seven. Number eight. Rick Remender worked with some really great artists uh, on this book. A whole bunch of different ones. Number 9. And this is number 14. I grab those whenever I see them. Just because it's a series that uh, that I love so much. Really, really great stuff. And it's such a badass team. Wolverine, Archangel, Psylocke, Deadpool, and Phantom X. Not the biggest Deadpool fan. But I actually really like him in, uh, in that book. X-Force number 1. With the Deadpool cards. I think that's my second copy of that book. Um... I think I found it for 50 cents, so I just grabbed it. X-Force number 32. That is the first appearance of Husk. Um, there's a couple more X-Force books that I'm looking for, but they seem to be um, they seem to be being picked through already. Domino's first appearance, uh, stuff like that. So we'll see. I'm on the lookout. Next, uh, Uncanny number 377, part of this uh, Apocalypse the 12 storyline, 376, is uh, is a good book to get as well. But I haven't been able to find that one. Slowly working on my Uncanny run. So I uh, decided to, to you know go out of my way and get the ones that are going up in price a little bit. I'm also trying to complete uh, <clears throat> Age of Apocalypse in single issues. So I got uh, X-Men Alpha. That's the first appearance of Abyss and Holocaust who are... Uh, Horseman of Apocalypse in Age of Apocalypse. Ho Holocaust makes another later appearance in Uncanny X Force. I don't know if I don't know a whole lot about him other than that. And I think Abyss dies in uh, in Age of Apocalypse. But uh, picked up those two great books to have regardless. And I'm uh, slowly filling in the gaps with the single issue stuff. Uh, none of that stuff is really hard to find. So uh, it'd just be cool to have a complete run of that. I grabbed. Uh, Superman Adventures number 21, that is, uh, well, it says Supergirl Adventures on the cover. It is uh, Bruce Tim Supergirl. All this Bruce Tim stuff seems to be uh, sought after. I have the Batgirl one as well, and then another X-Factor book. X-Factor number 19, that's the first appearance of the Horseman of Apocalypse. I'm also waiting on my copy of 24 to come in the mail. Um... 
I uh, didn't want to wait to film this video, so that'll be in the next one. I also grabbed, um, finally, a copy of X Factor number six, first appearance, full, first full appearance of Apocalypse. Uh, I've been seeing this book for like $60 or more around, and I went to a shop that I don't normally go to, and they had it for 10 bucks. so I, uh, I snatched it up. I'm not sure if they just, you know, didn't know what they had or what, but it's, uh, it's in pretty nice shape. I mean, it's not, we're not talking near mint here, but that's fine with me. And then I also grabbed with the pending X-Force movie news, the rumors about a potential X-Force movie, I would assume that he is going to be a, a major player in that movie, New Mutants number 87, the first appearance of Cable, well, first appearance of Adult Cable, Baby Cable's first appearance is in uh, Uncanny 201, so happy to grab all that stuff, that's all the, um, the key stuff for this video, mostly X-Men stuff, that's really where my focus is lately, but uh, now we'll get into some run fillers, some Fantastic Four, and then Uncanny X-Men, <clears throat> John Burns Fantastic Four to be specific, got a big stack of these. This is number 232. That's uh, John Byrne's first issue. He did some really amazing stuff with covers on this run. 238. Honest, Dr. Doom is not in this Marvel comic. And there's <laughs> John Byrne right there. Number 239. Oh. 240. Blackbird. Or Black Bolt. Uh, 242. 245. I think I'm pretty much halfway done with John Byrne's Fantastic Four run now. 247 and 248, 255. There's no, honestly, there's no books in this run that are um, super sought after, expensive, so it's an easy run to complete. 256, I love this cover. 257, you'll hear me say that a couple of times. 261, I like that cover a lot too, with the watcher. 263, not an expensive book, but one that is sort of key. This is 265, that is the issue when She-Hulk joins the Fantastic Four after the thing leaves. 266, and of course I always do this. Two copies of 267, 268, that's an amazing cover, 271, 276, black and white, I love this, all these next four covers actually, 277, John Byrne is the man, 279, nothing beats his X-Men for me, but Fantastic Four has got to come close, uh, 280, and 282. Next I have 283 and number 286. This is a continuation of when Jean Grey comes back to life. Um, this is a cover swipe of, I want to say it's 225, but I'm not entirely sure. John Byrne is cover swiping, swiping himself on, uh, on this one, but Check out, <clears throat> double check that number, but I'm pretty sure it's 225. It's in the 220s, I know that for sure. Anyway, on to some uncannies. Uh, I have some lower ones because I when I see these for like a dollar, I always double dip. These are uh, Claremont issues. 218. Number 230. Especially these ones. You got to double dip on these when you see them. 234, popular Silvestri Wolverine covers. Infected by the brood. 235. 232. And a lot of these were upgrades over my other copies. So. And then 251, another popular Silvestri cover. Wolverine crucified on the X. So that's uh, lower Claremont stuff. Those were all doubles. But uh, like I said, they were mostly upgrades. And then I'm working on, I have the, uh, the top end of Claremont's run complete. 
I have 120 all the way to uh, 279, which is Claremont's run, the end of Claremont's run done. And now I'm working on sort of that 279 to 350. I think I have almost a 320 complete, but uh, this is 286 now after this haul. 287. 288, Bishop stuff going on right now. His first appearance was in 282. 289. 293. 298. 301. <clears throat> 302. 303. 304. I mean, 305. 306. Cameron Hodge cover, whose first appearance was in X Factor number one. <clears throat> which I have, 307, super cheap book, 309, 311, John Romita Jr. at this point, uh, this is 312, 314, 315, Throwing my books around over here. And now, <clears throat> now it takes a bit of a jump and I'm all over the place. 348. 358. Uh, Deathbird cover. I'm on the lookout for her first appearance in Ms. Marvel number 9. Uncanny number 364. Oh. 378. <clears throat> Ages of Apocalypse. This is the next issue after that uh, that other Apocalypse issue I showed earlier. 464. I love this uh, Chris Pachalo Psylocke cover. That's why I grabbed that. And then I think this was 50 cents. Number 519. So I think in total I have about 300 Uncanny X-Men issues. So I have uh, put a significant dent in that run. I'm uh, My next goal after I finish up to 350 will be from 350 to 400 and as always working on the silver age stuff but that's all the stuff that i picked up um for this back issue haul i think i'll be taking a little bit of a break because i have a convention coming up november 8th it's uh, less of a convention more of a little show which is fine with me the smaller stuff at least around here you seem to be able to find better books and there's vendors who don't go to the big cons who do those, uh, the little like house shows and stuff. So super excited for, uh, for that. Thanks for watching guys. I'll be back on Wednesday with another, um, new comic book Wednesday haul. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.